Laser-powered phosphor display LPD is a large format display technology similar to the cathode ray tube court. Prism, Inc., a video wall designer and manufacturer in Silicon Valley, California, invented and patented the LPD technology. The key components of the LPD technology are its TD2 tiles, its image processor and its backing frame that supports LPD tile arrays. The company unveiled the LPD in January 2010. Topic: Operation principles. The concept behind the LPD technology is quite simple. LPD uses a set of movable mirrors to direct several beams of light from several ultraviolet lasers onto a screen made of a plastic glass hybrid material coated with color phosphor stripes. The laser draws an image onto the screen by scanning line by line from top to bottom. The energy from the laser's light activates the phosphors, which emit photons, producing an image. The building blocks of every prism video wall are the laser phosphor display (LPD) tiles called the TD2. Video walls are implemented using this new generation LPD TD2 tile, a virtually seamless bezel-free building block. TD2, launched at Infocom 2013, features increased resolution, brightness and enhanced uniformity. A variable number of TD2 tiles can be arranged in arbitrary configurations to form video walls in various sizes and shapes. <laughs> Advantages The main difference between the LPD and court technologies is that the first relies on laser whereas the second uses an electron gun to activate the phosphorescent substance that creates images. Another competitor, plasma display technology, consists of small cells of ionized gases that emit light a process that requires a relatively large amount of power. And a conventional laser television, such as the LaserView, made by Mitsubishi, uses red, blue, and green lasers and a micromirror device that combines and directs the light. This is essentially a rear projection display that wasn't popular due to cost. LPD requires less electricity than competing technologies, including LCD and light emitting diode (LED). IAC reported a 70% reduction in power by switching to LPD, and Prism says LPD uses up to 75% less power than most other display technologies on the market. An LPD device differs significantly from LCD in that more than 90% of the original light is lost in the latter process. The TD2, building block of a video wall, does not suffer the problem of low brightness, contains no toxic component, has no consumables, and generates little heat. Its displays are highly configurable and can be stacked seamlessly to create supersized high resolution video walls of almost any size or shape. According to Prism, the LPD technology has other advantages, including great black levels, a wide 180 degree viewing angle, a 65,000 hour panel life with no burn in issues, completely recyclable components, and their production process is mercury free. Asterisk, LPD competes with liquid crystal display LCD, plasma display panel PDP, surface electron display said and other large format display technologies. One disadvantage of LPD is that the displays are deeper than some competing technologies. Each TD1 tile including all peripherals measures almost 17 inches deep. Depending on the frame type, the total installed depth varies between 24 and 30 inches. Topic: Applications. The earliest embodiment of this technology, the TD1 tile was launched in June 2010. 
Prism began shipping the TD1 tiles in February 2011. LPD powered by the Prism Digital Workplace Platform software is used as a giant touchscreen display, a digital signage and in customer experience centers. The first LPD retail installation went on display at American Eagle Outfitters in New York in late 2010. Other LPD deployments include a 120 feet long by 10 feet tall video wall at media company Interactive Corp. IAC's headquarters building in New York in New York City, a 40 foot, 180 degree, interactive video wall at General Electric's GE Customer Experience Center in Toronto and television studios, and several video walls for venues including Dubai TV and Sprint. Prism Digital Workplace Platform is a shared cloud workspace where multiple users can upload and view videos, documents, presentations and other media. Patents 2D straight scan on imaging surface with a raster polygon. By Hanxiang Bai, Roger A. Haja. June 13, 2017. Local dimming on light emitting screens for improved image uniformity in scanning beam display systems. By Roger A. Haja. December 22, 2015. Composite and other phosphor materials for emitting visible light and applications in generation of visible light, including light emitting screens. By Roger A. Haja, David Kent, Philip Maliak. July 31, 2012. Laser displays using phosphor screens emitting visible colored light. By Buxov, Sergei A. April 4, 2013. See also Comparison of display technology History of display technology Telescopic pixel display Surface conduction electron emitter display Field emission display <laughs>